All right, guys, we're out here at Tate's Farm fishing with Tate. He's been trying to trap a snake that's been catching the eggs. And long story short, we caught it right here. And this is my first day here, so this is actually pretty cool. How long have you been trapping this snake, trying to catch him? Yeah. So I've been trying to catch this snake. I'm not even gonna lie. Probably like two months. Like, no, no lie. I've seen this snake. I don't know if it's this exact snake. Yeah. But I have seen a snake upon five different occasions. And we have yet to catch him until today. The one day I come. My boy KG shows up, the snake. <laughs> snake man. <laughs> He got the, he got the, what is this dog doing? I don't know what this dog's doing. His dog's gonna get eaten if he well, don't back okay. up. Okay, he's, he's in striking. I know. Position. He's putting that head up. I know that snakes uh, follow heat and things, but I wonder if he's following the heat on the iPhone because he is kind of moving his head That's a good with the thing or if he's just chilling looking at the closest thing. Yeah. But just looking at him, he got this ratchet looking uh, trap off Amazon. I don't know I why did. he's using that thing. It's literally held together with zip ties. Is that how it came? Yeah, that's exactly how you put it together. With no door on it. Yeah, there was instructions with two steps, and it said basically how to use zip tie. That's pretty much it. But for this snake, I'm gonna make a wild guess, guys. I ain't no snake expert, no snake handler. But I think this is a rat snake, and here's why. Basically, you have the rat snake, and then the black snake, which is like the black racer. They kind of look the same. They're both long, black, slender snakes. But this one's moving pretty slow. He's got some brown back here. And from what I can tell, that pretty much matches up with the rat snake. So here's the plan. This is gonna be kind of interesting for a couple of reasons. First of all, our plan is to eat this guy, okay? Kentucky fried snake. The snake ate the eggs, so we ate the snake. You know what I mean? But two, this trap doesn't have doors. I, I ain't got a single clue how we're gonna get it out there. And even better than that, I don't really know how we're gonna kill it. But that's all to be determined. And that's what this video is all about. And then, my first snake, I've never ate a snake before, have you? Never have. And out of all the snakes you could eat, I'm pretty sure that the rat snake's probably the nastiest, so. Sick. Sick, literally, sick. Maybe we could pin the head down and then. That's what I'm saying. I say let's take him out, let's figure him out. How do we want to do this? Uh, May just grab the thing and try think, not to get I think bit? you grab it. All right. And then we go from there. All right, here we go. You recording? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna come in from the corners. I don't know if he's gonna be smart enough to get me there, but we're just gonna move him. He's actually kind of heavy. What do you think? Just right out here in the yard, baby? Yeah, I think that's start the best with place. Him? Yeah. I'll go grab the frog gig. I'll be right back. All right, so we're getting ready to start working. We was in a predicament. What do we do with this guy right here? We was thinking about putting him up. Honestly, I think if something goes wrong, he gets out. I think he's gonna help us. Like, <laughs> he's, ha he's half on crack. I don't know. <laughs> so for this, we just pop the zip ties and then better... I think that's it. All right. Oh, he's, he's zoned in on me. But you better back up. Get your butt back here, son. I'm gonna have to take you to the ER. Dude, you gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna hold him like this right. while we work. Better have that frog gig ready. I know. We're gonna try to do this tag team right here. We're gonna try to dump him out. Man, I'm sure gonna try to gig him. If we, if I don't gig him, we do not have a backup plan. Oh, there we go. Oh, Ready? it's open. It's open right there. Ready? I don't know Tag if I am in. or not. Tag me in. All right, here we go. There he is. Hold up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh come on, shot. come on. Oh, I got him through the trap. I got him through the trap. Oh. Here, grab that trap. Let's see if we can get it. Oh. This is crazy. This is oh. scary. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is this? I don't even want to grab it, dude. I ain't no snake, dude. Look at this thing. I went like through the wire. We are in a predicament here. There you go. So you want me to pin him down? You want to cut it off? Shoot, I don't know, man. Look at this. I feel like, look at that. Kebab, snake kebab. We got the fire ready? We'll go right here. What do you call that? That's a big snake. That's, that's what a, you call that's it. That's a good size snake. All right. All right. Oh, you better be careful. That's what I'm saying, right. his head. How close do you want him to get? As close as he wants. All right. Okay. All right, be careful. That head's still moving. All right. All right, I'm going in right here. Gosh, oh. he's tough, man. There he is, there he is. That's what we're eating, there's the head. It's still going. Yeah, it's, it's gonna keep moving. Look at the head, zoom in on that. Dude's moving around. <laughs> Be careful, he'll bite you. Double pinned him. Whoa. Double pinned him. For venomous snakes, even if you cut their head off, pretty sure that's like the best way to kill them, you gotta still be careful because if you step on this guy or he gets close to your foot and he bites you, if he's poisonous, you're still going down. But here's the snake. Next step for us, skin it. And then get it ready to cook it. Now, I mean, I don't know. That's a pretty good snake. How tall do you think he is? How tall are you? Seven feet. 
Well, he's five. He's a good one, dude. There's his mouth right there. Ooh. That's not cool, man. That is not cool. And he's got teeth. Oh, look at him opening up whatever that thing is. I don't know what that does. As uh, Tate's going to grab the bag, uh, this snake with no head just curling up. This is going to be really cool. I've never skinned a snake before. I've always thought it'd be really cool, but I've never actually done it. And definitely never ate one, so. I think skinning a snake's pretty easy, but we'll find out in a few seconds, I guess. You're, up. you're gloving up? I'm gloving up. I don't know if I should glove up or not. Dude, feel that right there. That's some meat. That's what we're going to be eating. That ain't bad. Oh. That ain't bad. Is that the back strap? I think that's the back strap. I'll start off with a knife. I think we're gonna go skin just like everything. Skin a line straight up, then we're gonna turn it around, peel it, and shred it off. So start right here and we'll go. Oh, this is gonna be good. Let's see what the inside of a snake looks like. here and I'm just gonna try to peel him down. Oh look at this snake meat that's about to be revealed to us. Ta -da! Look at that. Something went my that's blood. Oh alright. We're gonna go ahead and get the rest of the skinned up, and then uh, I guess we'll catch, catch you in the kitchen for some cooking with KG Kentucky Fried Snake. Snake, yeah, that's what it is. All right, we in the kitchen. Yeah. Yep. Are you filming me? <laughs> yeah. You? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're ready. Now, I'll, I'll be honest, guys. I barely know how to cook as it is. Yep. So cooking snake, I'm just gonna let him do this. I'm not a cook either, unfortunately. <laughs> we're gonna try our best, man. Well, show us what what kind of tools we got. Okay. We got this is the spread right here. We got egg, which is kind of ironic. It is. <laughs> a little egg and milk, we'll make a little egg wash. Uh -huh. We got our flour. So I'm just thinking super basic, egg wash, flour, double dunk. Yeah, double dunk, skillet, sizzle, seasoning, eat snake. Yeah. He's moving over here. Yeah, meanwhile, the snake's literally over here like trying to swim down the sink, whatever, which would be really cool. But that's the piece we're eating today. It's over here moving. Dude, it's gonna be moving in the pan, which is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be wild. Get that little, little milky knuckle. Learning something today. We call this maneuver. This, uh, this right here, what is it? Wisping? Whisking? Something like that. I don't know. Call it whatever you want. I don't know how you're gonna get the snake in that bowl. You know what? I got you. So here's what we're gonna do. All right. All right. Let's make some room here. From field to table, boys. That's the piece that we are working with. Oh, son. It's like contracting or something. Oh. It's like this is. Oh, here's the strategy. Oh, just pour it on there. Yeah. Okay. We don't really have a bowl that's. <laughs> Fits to his figure. Yeah. You know? He's like a liquid. So we can, we can open him up a little? Oh. Get it going inside. Yeah. Oh, there's blood in there. That's nice. Yeah, that's good. Juices. Ready? Now, how are you gonna do that? You just put it in here and just. So he's curling up. Yeah. You see how I, I done that? I tickled him a little bit, he curled right up. Just where you want him. You just gotta know what to do. Yeah. See that? We'll let him self, do the rest. Look at that self flowering. Oh, you got it figured out right here. Oh, buddy. Look at that. That's looking good. What do you think about that? Double, That's good. Double dunk? Do we? Probably. Let's try it. All right, let's double dunk it. I'm going to go in for the baptism right here. And the egg wash. See that? Last time. Oh. Okay. Oh, he didn't like that. He, he didn't, didn't like it. Good. I think it's supposed to be good when you do that. Okay. What do you think it's going to do when it hits hot oil? I think those muscles are going to contract. I think it's going to start flipping. All right, well, we got lid ready. Just in case. He starts going. Self flipping. Oh, he's not He's not fighting at all. Wow. Oh, hold up. Oh, oh hold up. Okay. Oh, I think dude, he's, rotisserie. He's just giving it the death roll. 
Rotisserie, self rotisserie. Look at that. How is he burning? That is amazing. Oh, he made it. All right, we're gonna let that guy sizzle for a bit. I don't know if that's just bread and it's got burnt or uh, what that may be. Hmm. Go ahead and take your swig. Try it. Is it still hot? It's still warm. All I got was breading on that. All right, let's try it. Pull it. We can see there's some back strap right here, so maybe I go in here and pull some up. Come in with a cyst. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. You got it. So there's a little strip of strip of stringy meat. We'll see how it tastes. I don't think there's any bones. Oh, there is a bone. No, maybe not. All right. Ew. See, look at that, going all the oh. way up. Oh. I'm gonna try to get me another piece. I don't know if this is the outer membrane or is that actually meat? Here, I got some back strap. We'll try that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Chewing gum. Yeah, it's kind of like if KFC had bubble gum. Yeah. Did you swallow that? Yeah, I swallowed it. I'm gonna straight up give it. I'll be honest, guys, coming into this, I was thinking it was gonna be a two out of 10. In reality, it's probably right there at a two out of 10. I think it's pretty <laughs> close to. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna give it two and a half. I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of 10. You going in? I'll go in. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I'll give up on that one. Click right here if you want to see us eat a possum or right over here for whenever we got a little update on the worldwide mentor shortage of 2023.